students we will discuss bottle theorem today bottle theorem or principle is used in most of the applications in uh, most of the devices also the principle is used but uh, to start with we will uh, write the statement of bottle theorem so first let me explain and write the statement the explanation state that in case of a streamline flow there are three things or uh, two or three things we have to assume or consider before the statement that uh, liquid that is flowing is ideal ideal means uh, its uh, density should not change with time that means the density of the fluid at any pore part of the medium here or anywhere else the density will remain same uniform density that is it is incompressible the density remains same it should not rotate while the molecules of liquid moves it should not it just translates it doesn't rotate and then translates there is no rolling motion of the molecules third point is that the liquid or fluid that is uh, moving are not viscous that means the viscosity of the liquid or the fluid must be very very less non viscous means no viscosity but it is not possible to have nothing viscosity but a little viscosity is there but neglecting the viscosity part of the liquid that means uh, liquid is the fluid which can easily flow obviously if we take into consideration these three factors that is incompressible incompressibility non viscosity and in rotational motion of the fluid these three conditions means that the fluid is ideal and the flow should this flow the principle gondolis principle is applicable to laminar flow or streamline flow it is not applicable to turbulent flow so the statement says that in a streamline flow of incompressible non viscous and irritus e rotational flow of liquid or fluid the total energy of the fluid is constant for any section of the fluid the total energy means the potential energy of the fluid the potential energy the kinetic energy and the pressure energy there are three types of energy the liquid or the fluid will possess in case of solid we talk about potential energy and kinetic energy in case of uh, fluid we will talk about the for pressure energy as well but there then here also we define uh, in terms of uh, um, energy in terms of uh, per unit mass or per unit volume that also we to consider so first we'll write the statement then we'll discuss In the streamline flow of non viscous, incompressible, and in rotational flow of liquid. Volume, the kinetic energy per unit volume, and the potential energy per unit volume must be constant. Constant for every process. now this is such a long statement streamline flow non viscous incompressible in rotational flow what is constant pressure energy per volume kinetic energy per volume potential energy per volume is constant for every section of the flow that will uh, 
discuss in this next year. Now, we will uh, find the different types of energy in case of a liquid flowing here, the two of variable cross section or same cross section doesn't matter much. So, the liquid is flowing in this way, and here the exit, and here is the enter of the liquid. It is uh, at this point, suppose this one is two. This cross section is uh, having area A1, the velocity here is V1, here the velocity is V2, and uh, here the area of cross section is A2. Now, in case of a liquid flowing, it has got uh, three types of energy that will first define and uh, find out the formula for that and write. The kinetic energy per unit volume. If I consider a small portion of the liquid of mass m, then the standard energy half mv square, but we define the energy per unit volume. That is per unit volume, how much is the kinetic energy? That is uh, half mv square divided by volume. Kinetic energy is half mv square and volume is because uh, why do and volume means. Uh, it is not a single body like uh, a stone which is a single object of mass n it moves with v then you will write half n v square but it is not the case with the liquid because liquid is not a solid object or how, how much volume we'll talk about uh, because uh, continuously the rich water is flowing so how much uh, mass is considered then so therefore uh, the mass for volume is considered okay for unit volume how much is the energy so for unit volume this is the energy the mass for volume is density so therefore this is Half V square. This is how kinetic energy per volume is defined in case of a liquid flow. Next is uh, potential energy per unit volume. Now, potential energy per unit volume let us find potential energy per volume. Potential energy of uh, that also will define in terms of uh, volume. So, potential energy is mgh divided by volume, mass per volume is density. So, it is rho gh. This is the formula for potential energy per volume. Next is uh, pressure energy per volume. Pressure energy per volume. Now, what about the pressure energy? Pressure is uh, Pressure energy is basically um, pressure into volume. Okay, pressure energy is pressure into volume because uh, we will understand this way. Uh, work done, pressure is force upon area, and uh, if I multiply displacement in the numerator and denominator, the pressure will be force into displacement by area into displacement. That means uh, force into displacement is work done divided by volume. A into displacement is volume. So that volume is multiplied to pressure. So this becomes pressure into volume. This is called work done. Work done here is called pressure energy. Okay. Pressure energy is the pressure into volume. So into volume divided by volume. So this becomes pressure. This cancels. This becomes pressure. What uh, Bernoulli's theorem states here, you can see that uh, the this pressure energy will volume, kinetic energy will volume. The sum of these three energy must be constant. No? The pressure energy will volume, and sum of these three will be constant. So therefore, from Bernoulli's theorem, we can write. Pressure energy per volume, kinetic energy per volume, and the potential energy per volume is constant. Is known as Bernoulli's theorem. Very simple. Now we'll express this uh, in terms of uh, unit mass. Also, you can express uh, Bernoulli's equation in terms of uh, unit mass. 
in terms of unit mass the total energy can be written like this you can see here one potential energy per mass that you can define as uh, how do you define potential energy per mass the potential energy is mgh divided by mass for the rate mass if you want to find the energy this cancels this is g into h this is potential energy per mass similarly the kinetic energy per mass mass is kinetic energy is half n square divided by mass cancels v square by 2 the third type is uh, pressure energy per unit mass that is pressure energy p to v this is volume divided by mass pressure energy per mass this v comes to the below this so it is uh, p divided by m divided by v that is p by rho density of the liquid therefore this is uh, the sum of all these three can also be taken as constant according to Bernoulli's theorem so from Bernoulli's theorem we can also write the total energy in terms of per unit mass as p by rho gh plus v square by 2 is constant this is also known as Bernoulli's theorem okay then we will discuss something else in the next video okay thank you